Good afternoon. I'm Peter Doyle. I'm the supervisor for the Town of Barnstable Water Pollution Control Division, Department of Public Works. And we have a um, we have two tanks on the property at 617 Beers's Way, the treatment plant. One is a chlorine tank, 8,000 gallons, and we got an extension from you last year for two years. That's not due for another year. The diesel tank, 4,000 gallons, um, is due at the end of this month, and we're asking for an extension on the diesel tank. Um, we ran into trouble with um, getting the tanks replaced as we were trying to tie the replacement of the tanks to the replacement of the on-site generator for the, for the treatment plant. Um, and that bid for the generator went out in August of 2009, and it went up to the state for approval for SRS funds. We thought we'd get a little bit better deal on the, um, on the money. Um, they sent the approval back in January of 2010, and subsequently the town purchasing department denied the contract as it was beyond the 30-day approval timeline for 149M construction. Um, so we tried to go back out again um, and get a renewal of the SRF from the state, and sometime this summer they denied that for us. So we are here based on that scenario to um, ask for an extension. What we want to do now is uncouple the two tanks, the diesel tank from the generator and the chlorine tank from the chlorine distribution system and pumps, and just go ahead and replace the tanks um, and make that an independent project from the generator and the chlorine pumping system. Both of the tanks are in two large concrete vaults that aren't covered, and there's a liner in each one of those. And when it rains, the rainwater collects in that in those vaults, so we have to pump them out. What are the liners constructed of? Fiberglass? Um, Plastic? The liner is some sort of rubber. I can't remember what it is. Rubber? Yeah. Because in your letter you state that the chlorine is eating away at the fiberglass well, tank. What we thought originally was that chlorine would not attack fiberglass. Um, the review in the industry lately says that it will. And the, the tanks are not indefinite. We used to think they were indefinite, but they're not. They're not sheltered, so the water gets into the vault where the tank is, and we have to pump that out every once in a while. So, like I said, we are testing the water, the rainwater that collects in that vault and that we pump out in the diesel tank, and we have not did, we have not come up with any hydrocarbons at this point. Okay. And also the chlorine? We can test, test the chlorine tank. That's an easy test. That's an easy test. Okay. Num